Okay, hey corner friends. Happy Sunday. I am actually going to run a couple of errands. I am on my way to my mom's house to pick up my sister to run an errand with her. And then I have to grab a few things from the store. So the next thing you will see is when we arrive at the store. I have my little broke best friend with me, but she doesn't want to get in the camera. I don't know why she was getting camera ready and now all of a sudden she's not camera ready. So I don't know what happened. You knew I did not put on any makeup. <sighs> you hear it, guys? See what I got to deal with? I can't work under these conditions. Too much pressure. But we will see you guys at the next stop. Bye for now. I'm actually walking in Myers right now to pick up a few items. So we thought we would bring you along. Hope you guys are having a good Sunday. Getting my spring mix, guys. That one probably, how, how much is that one? Let me get this one. Say hi to the people. That's my daughter, Shania. She blessed us today. been looking for something like this to add to my family room. $51.99. It's really, really cute. Add things. We have no fireplace or anything, no manor or anything to add little decor items. So thinking about something like this. I like this shape. This one is $16.99. It's cute. I like the bigger one too. It's really cute. Making a mess here. Oh, this, I like this one too, guys. So many decisions. This. Yes. We're also shopping for Shania's apartment. She'll be leaving for school. So these cute little signs, they're only 40 cents, so I made her get one. <laughs> Isn't that cute, guys? 40 cents on clearance. I'm a clearance shopper. Hey, corner friends. Um, we are done at Meyer, and now we are headed home. So we will see you guys when we get home. Say hi, Shania. Hey. The camera's about to fall. I don't know what's going on. My anchor is sucking today. Um, but we'll get back with you when we get home. I am going to do an unboxing, a Steve Madden unboxing. And I'm going to show you the great finds I found at the library. See you soon, friends. Hey, I'm back guys and I am actually making dinner now so I am going to show you how I make my meatloaf here okay so I hope you guys are having a good Saturday we've gotten back from Myers and now I am making meatloaf I said good Saturday I mean good Sunday it's Sunday Oh, let me shut 
can adjust it. So happy Sunday, not Saturday. Thanks for hanging out with me on today. Getting my gloves on, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna add my ground beef to the bowl here. have some diced green uh, peppers and some onions. So I'm going to add that. breadcrumbs you can crush up some crackers if you have those I just prefer breadcrumbs because they're already um, finely um, ground out of the iPod but I added the breadcrumbs and I was saying if you didn't have breadcrumbs you can use um, you can crush up crackers if you have crackers in your home um, I just like the as I was saying I like the breadcrumbs because they're already um, finely grounded And now I'm going to add some Rotel in. Um, this is something that my mother-in-law does. Um, so I'm trying the Rotel. And now I'm going to add this um, Lipton Beefy Onion Mix. Um, I used to use just the Lipton Onion Soup. But I actually like this beefy onion for, um, I use it in uh, meatloaf and in like roast. It just gives it, because it has that beef flavor with the onion as well. So I like that one. But if you have the, if they don't have this, you can always use the, just the onion, the lifting onion soup mix, the regular. Okay, this packet. We're going to add some I can never say this right. Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> and I add just a little bit, and I don't measure, guys, so I'm just doing a little bit of it. And it probably seems like I'm pouring a lot, but it's not a lot coming out. So that's enough. That's going to do some pink Himalayan salt. Gonna add some garlic powder. Gonna add some pepper. And I'm gonna put my hands in now. If you don't get your hands in the meatloaf, it's not. You got to get in there and get everything mixed in. You can't be cute with it. Gotta use a little elbow grease. 
make sure everything gets mixed in. Been trying not to use as much salt. Um, sodium, I should say. So that's why I use the Himalaya salt. Should have took my bracelet off here. Just a little bit more breadcrumbs. Just a little bit more. It's smelling good, guys. And like I said, the rotel, that was, that's something that my mother in law does and her meat loss is really good so i decided to try it as well okay i think this bad boy is mixed up pretty good here i'm gonna take my gloves off for a second get some more guys To, I forgot to get the baking pan out. So I'm going to do that. Roasting pan, um, and also because I don't feel like trying to, you know, how you got a bunch of pans in there down in the bottom. I don't feel like going through out there trying to get to the one that I really will use, but so I'm just gonna use this roasting pan. I'm gonna give me some more gloves, guys, in one second. say this also I am nobody's professional chef I just cook for my family so don't be out here talking about she didn't do that that ain't how it's I'm not a, a chef is not my occupation and I don't proclaim to be anybody's professional professional chef but what I can do is feed my family once again it's this glove Okay, so now we're gonna just put it in the roasting pan here so we can form our loaf. Make this into a loaf here. And I'm gonna raise it up so you guys can see it. Make it into a loaf. I'm gonna make it a bit. Wanna get it even. All sizing. 
I don't like doing it too thick because you want it to get all the way done. You don't want it to cook unevenly. That's just been my experience now. Um, if you're a professional chef, you may say otherwise, or maybe there's a certain way to cook it when you're cooking it thick. And yes, I know this pan is bigger than what I need, but I need to reorganize my storage. And so I'm not getting ready to look for, cause my actual meatloaf pan is I think too small for this size meatloaf. This is three pound. This is, is a three pound boy. So this is what she's gonna look like going into the oven. Isn't she nice? So I'm gonna bake this on 350 degrees. And so the only thing left to do is once it's just about done, I am gonna drizzle some tomato sauce on top. So bye for now. I'll see you when she is just about done for the tomato sauce. Guys, I'm see back you. while the meatloaf is cooking. I thought I would go ahead and do my Steve Madden unboxing and my library finds while we wait. So I'm going to start with the Steve Madden unboxing. So my daughter is turning 21. So we're taking a trip to Vegas um, in February. So that is what this is for. So let's see here. Set the box down. Hey, love them. Aren't they so cute? Oh, aren't they cute? And my favorite color is actually pink. However, I didn't like them in pink, which is very surprising. I don't know why. Uh, okay. They are so cute and so bling. The bling is so nice. And they look so comfy. So, I thought these would be a cool deal for when we're out walking the strip. Go. Okay, guys. But, that's not all. So, it's a fanny pack that comes with it. So, you know, when you're walking the strip, you don't necessarily want to have a full purse. Be worried about carrying a full purse. Okay, guys, I'm gonna get it out of here. Oh, it's so cute. So here's the fanny pack. And see, it has all the little nice little trinkets with it. So it can be worn as a belt bag or a shoulder bag. There we go. Yes. Oh, very, 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 very cute. Let's see, it has the bling, just like the shoes do. Oh. Oh. Such a, such a, such a high fine. I and I love the straps. Oh, so girly, so girly, so girly. So I'm excited about this, as you can see. Okay, guys, we're gonna put this up and move on to our library finds. So, I went to the library. Well, I actually, <laughs> I actually reserved these online and went so I, they were ready and I went to go pick them up. So this one, I have been wanting to read for a long time but just never got around to it. So this is becoming by none other than our former first lady, Michelle Obama. So I'm really excited about reading this. Um, I've heard great things about it. 
Um, so, I was really excited to finally sit down and actually read it. And so, I am a big, um, I was a big Eric Jerome Dickey fan. I loved his Gideon series. And so, there were a couple in the series that um, I hadn't read yet. The last two, I think it was. Um, well, actually, the last one, but because it's been so long since I read the one before and I went back, um, this one I've read, this is um, Resurrected Midnight, Eric Jerome Dickey. And I've read this one, but it was the one before the last one, so I went to go back um, so I could make sure I remember what happened before I started the last one. And this is Finding Gideon. Um, rest in peace, Eric Jerome Dickey. We lost you not that long ago, so. Um, I decided to go ahead and finish that series out. And then, I am also a big fan of Wahida Clark in the Thug series. Um, although, I'm not for sure if that one is a part. Okay. So, it was the same deal. Um, like... So I have, okay. So I have Justify My Thug by Wahida Clark. Um, and I've read this one, but again, it was just like the Gideon series. Um, I wanted to read the um, last two. So I went back to this one so I could refresh my memory of what was going on. Um, and then I have Honor Thy Thug, which is in the series, and um, Thug 7. I can't remember which one is, which order it goes on in, but before I read them, trust me, I know, I know that Justify My Thug is before these two. Um, but I just can't remember which one of these two comes next and which one will be the last one. But, love, love, love her. Um, I used to be able to read a lot more than I am now, so, um, there's, I'm catching up on a few of my authors that I like, and this is also by Wahida Clark, and it's called Thug's Valentine, but it's actually not a part of the Thug series. But it looked interesting, and it's not a big book, so this won't take me that long. So I figure once I finish with the series, I can start these, but I'm going to actually start Becoming by Michelle Obama first before I start anything. So I just wanted to share those books and my um, Steve Madden unboxing with, unboxing with you. Um, once the meatloaf is done, or actually just about done, we will put the tomato sauce on, put it back in the oven. Um, so I'll see you later for that. Okay, I am back finishing up the uh, meatloaf and now we're just gonna drizzle some of this tomato sauce. Well, I said drizzle, but that kind of just poured out on me. We just gonna cover it with the tomato sauce. and put it back in the oven to finish. And the next time you'll see me, you will see a beautiful meatloaf. I'll be back. Hey guys, I am back with the finished product. I'm just gonna cut it down the middle to make sure that it's done. I just have a thing about that guys, so sorry for presentation wise. I am cutting it. Closer view. Look at that. Look at that. Meat loaf. Yes. Okay, guys, that's it. Thank you for joining me on today. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Shan's Corner. S H A N S C O R N E R. Until next time, my corner friends. Bye.